Ten years ago, former jockey Brian Toomey was given a 3% chance of survival after falling at Perth Racecourse in Scotland. He was clinically dead for seven seconds and had part of his skull removed and a titanium plate inserted in order to survive the fall. Solway Dandy at the top end of the market, stepping up in distance today. Partnered by Brian Toomey, running here for Lisa Harrison. I was going all the way to Perth, riding a favourite, which I thought had a good chance. Um, yeah, I was looking forward to it. I, everything was... I was all prepared, I was, I was ready to go. One horse is just not jumping at the moment is Solway Dandy. Solway Dandy has just hit hurdle number four. Solway Dandy would have at least eight lengths to find, probably ten, jumping the third last. That's the flight down the side. Solway Dandy is gone. Solway Dandy a faller there. When I got the fall, I lost consciousness and I was taken to hospital with a 3% chance of survival. Um, my family were, were called up at home to given the news to expect the worst like it was it was very tough for them it's one of those things that you just hope never happens to anybody that you know is just like well i hope it never happens at all um and you know the fact that you know they had very good medical facilities got him to hospital quickly and operated on him you know in in the nick of the time you know all those things contributed to the fact that he's made a full recovery it's a shock here and hearing the severity of it and how serious it was but it uh yeah a lot of doctors and neurosurgeons were were shocked by my injury and shocked by my recovery so very lucky in 2015 at Savile Racecourse, Brian defied his life-threatening injuries to make an incredible sporting comeback. Away we go for the betbonus.com. Claim your free bet now. Novices selling hurdle. And King's Grey, the comeback ride here for Brian Toomey. His uh, upsides early with Daisy. These are the front pairs. They have a fairly long run towards flight number one. Yeah, people thought I was mad. It was all I wanted to do. I wanted to get back living the life I was living. Um, I loved my career as a jockey and I was probably still on cloud cuckoo land thinking that I was going to get back as, as the career back that I had. Head injuries normally take forever and if you get back to 100% of where you were then you're really lucky and so when you think the nature of his injury and the extent of it, um, he's absolutely blessed. Fast forward to today and Brian is on the verge of becoming a trainer as he approaches the next chapter of a truly inspirational journey. I am soon to become a trainer, so I hope you'll see Brian Toomey in the winner's enclosure and I hope I'll be known for a successful trainer, not the miracle jockey.